guys, welcome back. So I have a really fun way to use up the last of those summer watermelons. We are going to can watermelon lemonade concentrate. This is one of my children's favorite recipes. It's so fun just to whip out a jar of this concentrate and you mix it equal parts with either water or ginger ale for a really fun punch. And you have some really cool lemonade in the middle of winter <laughs> or early next year when you're impatient and you're waiting for those watermelons to come. I'm gonna use this little watermelon and I'm going to get it chopped and I'm going to pull out its black seeds while my water gets hot and I'm going to wash and sterilize my jars. Step one. Oh, if you could only smell this. Oh, it smells so good. It's actually a fantastic little watermelon. It is so ripe. My chickens are going to love these rinds. They're going to be so excited. And remember when you're doing this to seed save all of those seeds, all of the seeds I take out, I am going to be seed saving. All of the watermelon is chopped up. I went ahead and chopped up that entire little watermelon and obviously my pot is too small. I am about to mash this up. It is a very overly ripe watermelon, so it's just gonna mash up super easy. And then I'm gonna measure it out, see how much watermelon I have, and see if I need to double this recipe. I will link the recipe below so that you can decide if you wanna do it just as it is or double it up like I'm probably gonna end up doing. And I've went ahead and separated all of the seeds from that watermelon. Don't worry if a few seeds are left in your watermelon it won't hurt anything. You might just have a few watermelon seeds floating around in your lemonade when you make it and there's nothing wrong with that. I tell my children that a watermelon will grow in their tummy. So, and don't make fun of my little strainer. Isn't this sad? I melted it. So my husband had this strainer before I even met him. That was a very long time ago. So, Oh, it's like a 15 year old strainer. I'm still using it. I probably need to get a new one, but it works. So I am going to strain these seeds. I am going to wash off all of that pulp and rinse them really good and lay them out on a towel to air dry for a week or two and then put them in an airtight jar. And then each one of these little seeds will be a new little watermelon. Don't forget to save your seeds, so important. Okay, let's get this watermelon measured out. have this all mashed up. I might smash out a few more lumps as it heats up. But right now I'm going to go ahead and measure it out and see how much watermelon puree I have. I almost didn't even bother to measure because I was like, I bet this is double the recipe. <laughs> I'm pretty good at eyeballing things. It was exactly 12 cups of pureed watermelon. So exactly double the recipe that I have. I went ahead and changed to my second biggest um, stock pot so that we didn't have any kind of disasters. Oh my goodness, let me tell you, if anyone ever needed a bigger stove, it's me. I would use it. I really want it. <laughs> so I have this all piled up on my little stove, but that's okay. It's going to work. All right. So now that we have our 12 cups of pureed watermelon, I am going to go ahead and get eight cups of lemon juice and 12 cups of sugar into this watermelon lemonade. Here's our first four cups of lemon juice. And here is our next four cups of lemon juice. We are getting out the food grade bucket full of sugar <laughs> to use because I've used up all of my OXO container sugar. So we are gonna fill up the OXO container sugar with this bucket and then I'll have to buy more sugar to refill my emergency bucket. But I have sugar. And that's all that matters. So we're going to get 12 cups of this into our watermelon lemonade. That is four cups of sugar. 
eight cups of sugar and 12 cups of sugar. Don't worry about all this sugar. This is a lot of lemonade. And remember, it's a lemonade concentrate. So this will be equaled out with a lot of good water in the end. And our watermelon has so many fabulous vitamins in it. Um, just another reason to preserve some of that summer watermelon for yourself. There are so many anti-inflammatory um, vitamins in watermelon. It's so good for your skin. It's so good for so many things. So save your watermelon. Don't worry about a little bit of sugar. Most everything in here is just good and natural. There's natural colors. There's no dye in here. And sometimes you need a special drink at dinner. I know my children are always so excited when I serve a lemonade or a punch that I've made with dinner. Now I'm gonna give this a good stir and I'm going to heat it up to exactly 190 degrees. I'm going to stick my thermometer in here. We do not want this to boil. We only wanna heat it up. I'm gonna grab my thermometer and I'm gonna make sure this heats up to exactly 190. Okay, we are going to keep stirring this constantly and keep checking that temperature. So because this has sugar in it, it's going to heat up pretty quickly. And like I said, we want to be very careful not to get this to a boil. So keep stirring it, keep checking your temperature, 190 degrees. there. Oh, everything is steaming up. <laughs> and I think we have reached 190, which is right there. Almost done. Ready to go. Yay. I have my watermelon lemonade concentrate and I have my sterilized jar. Now I'm going to fill the jars a fourth of an inch from the top. This is because we don't want to leave too much air because the more air, the more likely it is to be susceptible to different bacteria and such. So we want a quarter of an inch, but you don't want it right up next to that lid because then it could swell and pop off in the canning process. Definitely don't want that. So a quarter of an inch. Now with some jams, you see me, I will leave it an inch below. Sometimes that's okay. Um, I've never had a problem with it, but According to the recipe, and technically for safety purposes, you should have it a quarter of an inch from the top. Not sure how many jars a double recipe is going to fill, so I'm gonna start with eight jars and we are gonna see how we go. Okay, this made eight quart sized jars and just enough left over that I'm gonna make my children watermelon lemonade tonight to go with their dinner and don't ever skip this. I say it every time, but it's so important. I always take a paper towel, dip it in my boiling water, and you go around those rims and wipe them really good. I usually do it two or three times just to make sure you don't want anything on those rims so that you don't get a good seal um, or it doesn't just seal properly and it pops off later and causes all kinds of problems and then your work is all for naught because you didn't do this one very important step. Don't take shortcuts, it's not worth it. You want these to be safe and sealed and all this time that you put in it to be completely worth it. So sterilize those rims, every little piece of sugar and don't touch them. And then after you are certain you have done that, you're going to take your lids. They say this is an unnecessary step now and maybe it is, but I feel better about taking these and dipping them in hot water and placing them on top. Then I do the exact same thing with the rings, just because it makes me feel good about all of it. And then you're going to finger tight these on. They don't have to be Hulk strength tightened, just finger tight, good and snug. Watermelon lemonade concentrate is ready to go in its water bath. Make sure that it is covered with water at least an inch on top and process it according to your elevation. You can find this in Google about 15 minutes. When in doubt, a little bit longer definitely won't hurt. 
So I'm gonna drop these in and wait 15 minutes. This has been processing for 15 minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out and see if they have sealed. We're just gonna let these cool off. We're not going to mess with them. We're gonna leave these rings on until tomorrow and let them just set still for 24 hours. And then after 24 hours, we'll remove the rings so that we can make sure that they stay sealed. If you leave the rings on, it can create a false seal and you won't know if something went wrong. So remove those rings. Don't stack them on top of each other. One single row. That way you can keep an eye on it and make sure everything stays as it should. Watermelon Lemonade Concentrate. I finally finished. It is the next morning. It is all done. They all sealed beautifully. I've removed the rings and I am going to go put them in my she shed with all of my other canning on the shelf. I had enough left over to make my children a pitcher to go with their dinner tonight. Now the recipe says to mix one jar with an equal part of water. For me and my family, that was really strong. I mixed one of these with three parts water. <laughs> so really strong, but you can do it according to your taste. If you like that sour kick, then you can definitely mix it with one part water. I will list the original recipe below as it states. But like I said, for us, that was really strong. So I used three parts water in that pitcher. And for us, that's absolutely perfect and delicious. Tastes wonderful, chilled. So guys, this is so good. And you know what? You can use any fruit to make your children some kind of concentrate to mix with water. And I also say mix it with ginger ale to make like a good punch. So much better than Kool-Aid or store-bought juices all natural so if you grow grapes or you grow apples or oranges can it can it in a concentrate and then around the holidays or just for a nice dinner you can mix it and have something beautiful for your family to drink no artificial dyes like i said nothing bad this is absolutely beautiful i think it's kind of a unique canning recipe and i hope your family enjoys it as much as mine also wanted to share with you this 40 pound watermelon i'm so proud of it look at that golden spot you know what that means it means it got lots of sunshine and it's going to be extra sweet it also is a dull color which means sweetness and its stripes are far apart, so the webbing is far apart. Another sign is sweetness, and this little end has gone brown, which means we need to eat this one this weekend. A few random watermelon facts. Until next time, guys, bye.